Reinventing the Relationship Between Workers and Tech. Rachel Kornberg Contributor. Share on Twitter. Rachel Korberg is a program officer with the Ford Foundation's Future of Workers Initiative, which seeks to build a more just and inclusive future for workers in our rapidly changing economy. A young father and kitchen worker in Pittsburgh was thrilled to get a job with a big restaurant chain that paid $15 an hour, much more than he had been making in fast food. Soon after starting, however, he learned that his schedule was set through an algorithm that crunches a range of data, from weather forecasts to past sales, to predict customer traffic, optimize shifts, and, ultimately, maximize profits. As a result, his hours were extremely unpredictable and sometimes his shifts were cancelled minutes before they were set to start. A job he believed would provide security now barely gave him enough hours to make rent and provide for his family. And it was all because of how his employer used technology. The Pittsburgh workers' story is not unique. The average American worker hasn't gotten a meaningful raise in over 40 years, which has been made worse by meager benefits packages, volatile schedules and pay, and barriers to worker voice. While technology didn't cause these long-standing challenges, the industry has failed to disrupt them, and at times even scaled and amplified them, as new technologies proliferate the workplace. This is one of the reasons there is a growing backlash against the tech industry, from the Uber and Lyft protests that grounded New York traffic to a halt to Google walkouts to the customer uproar that spurred DoorDash to change its tipping practices. And legal action abounds. Just last week, New Jersey fined Uber $649 million, while Washington, D.C. sued DoorDash. But the future doesn't have to be this way. New and emerging technologies have the power to improve the lives of workers and make jobs more stable, fair, and dignified, while still delivering value and profit. The first step is making sure workers have a seat at the table, and a voice, to shape every aspect of technology, from design and development, investment and adoption and policy-making and governance. Several new initiatives led by business, government, and workers are embracing this approach and, in the process, offer models for how to create a new, win-win relationship between tech and workers. Workers and industry are beginning to partner to develop new technologies. The Partnership on Artificial Intelligence, PAI, is a coalition of major tech companies, from Apple to Google, created with the mission of sharing the benefits of artificial intelligence. Pay recently launched an effort focused on workers and labor, engaging directly with workers and their reps. For more on this story, visit the news article link.